Hey guys, mowers and blowers here again. I put an ad out on Craigslist. I said, hey, don't throw out your lawnmower. If you're throwing it out, man, give me a call. I'll come get it. So it actually works, man. So I'm over in Smithtown here, getting ready to pick up a free mower. And it's right over there. Your destination is on the right. Poop. Looks like a Murray. The Briggs and Stratton carburetor on it. Has a bagger. He says it has some rust, but uh, we'll see about that. So I got it. It is a Murray, just like I said. But uh, it's completely rusted out on the corners here. It does have a bagger, but the bagger's kind of screwed. Let me try to fix the bagger because I actually need it for another one. So I have a deck for this. Hopefully that engine will work. Fit on there. Fit score. Free. Love free. Hey guys, how you doing? Mowers and blowers here again. Well, I uh, brought this back. It's in my garage now. It's a uh, Murray 2-in-1 combo. Mulch with a bag. It's uh, self-propelled. Obviously, you can see completely rusted out in the rear corners. All done. It's barely hanging on to life. Anyway, uh, came with a bagger, and the good thing about that is that the bagger fits my other Murray push mower, which I didn't have a bag. So now I could actually uh, sell this for 25 bucks more. I had this up on uh, Craigslist for like $75, but now it comes with a new bag. You can get 100 for it now. Anyway, here's my uh, go-kart. Anyway, so today uh, I'm going to use this engine because obviously I can't use the deck. I'm going to strip it for the parts. Uh, wheels are still good. Um, unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to be able to use the uh, self-propelled feature because I don't have a self-propelled deck, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to take this engine and put it on something that I have in the backyard. So last summer I uh, got a hold of this thing. I think I paid $10 for it. I very seldom pay anything more than $10. Anyway, it's a newer Murray deck. And what happened was this engine had that uh, 450E engine on it and a valves were busted, so I chucked the engine, so cannibalized the parts for it, sold it on eBay. And so I knew I was gonna use this deck. This deck is almost brand new. Seriously, man, Saturday morning, eight o'clock. Where's the consideration, man? People are sleeping. So just looking at it, looks like the same uh, length, looks like the blade will fit because uh, the red one actually looks wider than the uh, busted one. So the blade will definitely fit, which is good. Now the height, I'm concerned about the height because as you can see, this engine has a spacer on it, which is, which means that it has a long crankshaft, you know, which requires that spacer to get clearance to the self-propulsion. Well, this one's not going to have the self-propulsion. I'm still going to use that, um, I'm still going to use that spacer, but does this seem a little lower? No, it actually looks okay, right? So anyway, I'm going to, uh, use my impact there and take the uh, blade off of that one get the screws off I mean they're both Murray's you figure the holes are right you know I mean they'll fit anyway you know most uh, engines do fit on different mower decks but uh, Murray to Murray it should be a good fit man this is obviously a side discharge so it has no bagger but I use that engine for this one we'll see what we uh, come up with 
but I have it up on uh, its side now, and it's uh, leaking some fuel there, but it's all right. Just put a rag there or something like that, and we'll see if. Uh, okay, it should be right. It's uh, nine sixteenths. Blade's okay. I mean, it's, you know, rusty, but straight. Even looks uh, decently sharp. Well, it looks like it nicked there, nicked something there. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get that out. Do some banging. Same uh, size bolts. Gotta get an impact wrench, man. Two seconds. This uh, Harbor Freight Tools is plugged in. It's, uh, it was only like uh, 40 bucks. Really, really, really good. Works well. Anyway, so the engine's loose from the uh, deck. So I just took the engine off. Fit right on there. But uh, I don't have the spacer on there, so we get some gas there from the carb. I'm not sure whether or not that crankshaft might be too low. That really looks okay, doesn't it? The spacer's here. I don't know why it's not coming off. I think I should put the spacer on there. What do you guys think? Looks okay, but I mean, why did that have a spacer and this one doesn't? So I definitely need to put the spacer in because when I uh, lifted this up just to take a look, um, this part here, where the blade goes on, was um, pretty much at the very bottom here. So you want the blade to be kind of inside here. You don't want it flying around over here. It'd be too low, you know? So. Uh, the space is on here, but this one has these little tabs here that stick out, and this one doesn't have the holes for those tabs. So I'm just gonna snip these off. Do from the inside so you have more space to do it. fits like a glove so it's exactly the same as before got the spacer on there looks like it rides a little high obviously but uh, you know what man fit perfectly so uh, now that I have the blades off I might as well just put a grinder to it and uh, sharpen the blade just took the grinder and uh, yeah it's got a couple of little nicks in it but man it's razor sharp now man Good enough. Dude, I just pull started it once. I think maybe the air cleaner's dirty. It's having trouble getting air. It's starting to speed up a little bit. That was easy, man. 10 minutes, engine swap. I'm gonna open up that cover and check out the carburetor. But it looks like it's getting fuel, started on the first pull, but uh, the RPM seems a little slow, so I think we're going to take that off and check out and maybe we can do some kind of adjustment.
the reason why it does that is because now we got the air cleaner off, right? And by the way, this was saturated with oil, uh, fuel, so it's uh, wet. Um, still starts very well, um, but the reason why it surges is because there's debris in there that is preventing enough air to mix with the fuel. So uh, something is in there that is clogged or slightly dirty that is causing it to kind of gasp for air. It's, it wants to suck more air, you know, as soon as you, uh, as soon as I adjusted the linkage over here to, to allow the um, uh, throttle to be a little bit in hi uh, higher in RPMs. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna take apart the carb anyway, you know. Um, it, this was an easy, you know, uh, engine swap, you know, but uh, we wanna make sure that uh, it runs good. So uh, it's not bad, um, it, the gas in there was like white, so it had some water in it. Surprised it even ran so well, but uh, did I see that hole here? See how dirty that is in there? Got to take a little wire, kind of unclog that. Also this uh, jet bowl nut here, you can barely see through it, so there's grime inside of it. I'm gonna clean that out. So, clean the carb. Carb's back on there. I'm gonna put the uh, cover on now. And uh, I didn't have much carburetor cleaner left, but uh, I think it did the job. Got those uh, holes cleaned up, you know, with this wire. And uh, should be okay, man. I feel pretty good about it. Now, you see that? You gotta clean that. I don't think I have any gas in here. Either way, in this. Yep. No gas. I made a mess again. I tell you, I never have a good gas can. Always leaks. Always spills. Always makes a mess. Always. filter in there good to go and that's how you do a uh, engine swap see you guys next time on mowers and blowers